Hi! In this video you will discover how to simulate with KiCad 5.0. For this first simulation project I choose the LM555 which is a programmable timer. Let's go to the datasheet. You can take the first datasheet which is from Texas Instruments. In this data sheet, there is a section about the operational modes of the circuit. This is a very classical circuit which has two main uh, operational modes. The first is the mode stable operation mode and the second a stable operation mode. This is the circuit I chose for this first simulation with KiCad. Then let's go to KiCad and draw this circuit. Create a new project in KiCad. I call this project LM555. And now I'm going to open the schematics and put the first components of the project the first component I take is the LM555, which is the main component of the project. This component must be powered. And then we have to put a VCC symbol for the positive power. And a GND component for the negative power. Well, the output of the circuit is in the pin 3. It is called Q. This output is connected to load and the load is connected to the ground. In this circuit you can find a capacitor. This capacitor is charged by a VCC source. And the current is limited by two resistors. The capacitor voltage is monitored by the trigger pin and the threshold pin. And the capacitor is discharged through the pin 7 of the LM555. Reset pin is always a VCC and the pin CV is connected to a capacitor connected to the ground. Well, it's not the goal of this video to calculate the components. Uh, you are now to fix them with the values you can see on this schematic. And then annotate the schematics to get some references for all components. And then save it.
To be functional, this circuit needs a power supply. I will use a battery cell connected to VCC and VCC. Now we have to rename the reference name because simulator recognized only V reference as a source uh, voltage source and we have to give a value and this value will be DC for, for direct current 15 for 15 volts just one more thing before uh, launch the simulator we have to add text which uh, is a directive to the simulator to get a transient response with uh, one microsecond for the step of calculation a duration of the simulation that will be 10 milliseconds and data will be saved at time equal zero. Finally, we add a UIC directive to force the power, the level of each capacitors to be null at time equal zero. Well, now if you try to simulate the circuit, it will not work because every component in the circuit need a spice model. This is the case by default for V1, which is a voltage source, and it's okay for capacitors and resistors, which have by default a spice model. But for the LM555, there isn't any model by default in your KiCad software. There's a lot of SPICE models on the internet, but a lot of them won't work on KiCad. The best way is to get the Cadence or CAD Pass Live version software. To get this, uh, you have to fill this form and select the good version of the software. After you will get an email and this and in this email, there will be a link to download the software. Then we are ready to launch the ARCAD software. We create a new project call it project one, choose a PSPICE project, and open the schematic sheet. It's now time to find the SPICE model of the 555. You can try to place a new component in the schematic sheet. Type 555. There is four 555 components. One is in the Hever library and the three of those are in the ENL MIS library. Let's go to find this file. They have the kittens path in the tools path piece spice library and then we choose ENL miss point lib library. You can copy that and paste it in O project file. 
Well, we are now to come back to KiCad. And in KiCad, it's time to edit the model of the 555 component. You can choose model tab and select the nlmis.lib file and now choose 555C model. Okay. Okay. It's now time to simulate the project. Circuit is now ready for a simulation. Go to Tools menu, choose Simulator, and click the Run button. There's nothing to display now. It's the goal of the probe button. On the schematic, we have to choose the output of the LM555 and come back to the simulator. Well, we can see the result of the simulation from 9 milliseconds to 10 milliseconds. Uh, it's because I've changed the parameter of the simulation and choose 9 milliseconds for the first time to display. The probe button in the simulator software is a good tool to select signals in the schematic. You can add some global label or local label to name your signal. For example, VC for the voltage on the capacitor, a global label output, reverse shape output for the output of the circuit, and then run again the simulation. And now we can add your signals with the add signals button and select them by their name. Well, this is the end of this video. Thank you for viewing it. It was my, my first video in English. I hope you, you learned something.